Greetings! Hey, how you doing? Good to see you. I've got a thing. And this thing is something that I've kind of recently realised that I've never owned. Um, I've only ever begged, borrowed and stolen, uh, mostly from my brother Jeff, um, who had one of these things throughout my informative years as a teenage um, guitar player. I would just kind of acquire it from his bedroom and then plug it into my, you know, really affordable combo amplifier um, and try and get, you know, Sepultura roots <laughs> kind of tones or Metallica or Slayer or all the stuff I was into. Uh, I think it's weird that I've never owned one and I think to be really honest with you other than when I was sort of 16, 17 growing up with my brother learning to play metal um, I've never really used one of these unless it was a joke or, or kind of for the lols like a meme um, because it's that kind of a pedal it is by Boss and it is drum roll a metal zone just checking it's the right way up. <laughs> Wazacraft. So it's the updated version of the Metal Zone. And I am intrigued to, oh, I don't know about you, but I mean, I kind of, when I think about this pedal, I think about scooped metal tones, you know, kind of affordable sounding gear. And it's funny, it's become a meme, but it's not a serious kind of contender um, and I think I'm gonna have my opinion radically changed when I plug this in from what I've heard from people in my peer group so anyway it's the Metal Zone MT2W by Boss Wazacraft it's got the custom setting and the standard setting and I am most intrigued to hear the custom setting because I kind of think uh, well what they're saying is that on the custom setting it brightens the tone, makes it less muddy, it does a bunch of stuff that I think the original version of this pedal was probably um, guilty of having in its tonal armory. So I don't know what your opinion is going to be. Uh, wish me luck. I've got a rig set up here. I've got a V30 Mark II behind the couch of doom and um, red lights on. We're looking good. <laughs> I thought because it's old school tones I bring out an old school guitar. This is this is my original uh, blue ghost fret. And um, because I, I know how it sounds um, through and through, so it's kind of easy for me to work out how this sounds when I'm really familiar with the sound of this. First off, I better let you see how this sounds through the amp on its own with what I remember, I think is a war pig. I might be wrong. It's a bare knuckle. It sounds really good. And this is how it sounds with hardly any gain on the amplifier being driven really hard by this bare-knuckle pickup. All the controls set to the middle. <laughs> Let's check it out. I genuinely was not expecting it to sound, uh, it doesn't sound digital, do you know what I mean? It doesn't sound like, it doesn't sound like an affordable pedal anymore and it doesn't sound muddy. Um, this is the custom setting but uh, I mean I kind of think it sounds great to be honest with you. It's really tight and focused, especially with the palm muting stuff, it's kind of carrying the note in an envelope of really crispy biscuit exterior. <laughs> Alrighty, I've done a slight uh, 
tweakage, essentially adding more, 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 and more, and then a tiny touch less, still on this custom setting. I'll be honest, I have switched it to the dark side of the force, and I didn't really like it, so I'm just leaving it on the custom setting. Um, this is gonna be a bit more ambient lead playing. I guess there you go. I really like it. This has kind of blown my expectations dramatically out of the aqueous solution. And uh, I'm looking forward to using this a lot more, especially on the C setting, C for chappers. Um, anyway, take it easy and uh, see you soon. Bye.